Well, I have an old iPhone 4 here. I bought this for parts. And then my son decided he wanted to use it, so I let him use it instead of uh, parting it out. Because it does work pretty good. The only thing that doesn't work on it is the Wi-Fi. But we were able to uh, load a bunch of his favorite apps on it. Just through iTunes. But now we have a problem. Um, sign into iCloud keeps popping up all the time. But uh, I stumbled upon a kind of a different solution. And it's not really a permanent solution because when you hook your uh, phone up to iTunes again, and maybe even, I, like I said, the Wi-Fi doesn't work on this phone, so I'm not sure about this, but I'm assuming that when you hook up to Wi-Fi again, the same thing will happen all over again. But just to make your phone usable, um, you can try this. It's totally up to you. I mean, it's not a big deal if it doesn't work, but... So what you need to do is take the back off of your phone, uh, remove the one screw that uh, holds the battery connector down, and then just uh, gently pop your battery connector off of the motherboard, and let it sit for about five or ten seconds and then hook her back up okay so now we'll uh, restart it and I'll come back when the phone actually restarts alrighty so we're started back up and we have a low battery warning but no iCloud login so far and I'll just show you why that is and I'm not a hundred percent sure why this works but if you go to settings and you look at the time and date I'm not sure if you can see this but instead of uh, 2014 which is what it is it says 1969 so I'm not sure why setting it back to 1969 makes any difference and probably you could set it to 1984 or whatever. So anyway, that makes the phone at least usable when it wasn't usable at all before because of that pop-up and just for the heck of it I'll show you that plugging this thing into the computer and iTunes it resets the date so like I said the Wi-Fi doesn't work on this phone so you can't really reset the time and date by uh, connecting to Wi-Fi, but it actually resets it to 2014 uh, through iTunes, and that's also going to make that uh, pop-up eventually come back. For now, it's okay. But the next time you restart the phone, which is what I will do right now, it makes that uh, come back. So anyway, let's uh, power this thing down. And I'll cut all this out so you don't have to see it restarting. But anyway, when we come back, it'll be popping up that uh, iCloud thing again. Alrighty, so the phone has restarted and as you can see the sign-in pop-up is uh, popping up every couple seconds again so as far as I can tell and from what I've read online there is no solution to that so disconnecting the battery and letting the the date 
reset back to 1969 seems to be the only thing that works. And it's not ideal, of course, because uh, that's going to make signing into uh, things like uh, the App Store and, and surfing on the Internet, which I can't do because my Wi-Fi doesn't work, but it's gonna probably make all that stuff damn near impossible because your date has to be right but at least now my son can play his games